Is this the holy grail of water filters? Or is it trash? Keep watching to find out more. Hey everyone, Steven here from My Life Outdoors. So there's a scene in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade where Indiana has to choose from many different cups which one is the Holy Grail. Which one is it? You must choose. But choose wisely. For as the true Grail will bring you life, the false Grail will take it from you. Eternal life. What is happening to me? You chose poorly. Today we're talking about the Grail GeoPress water filter, named so I can only imagine because it's supposed to be the holy grail of water filters, but is it really? Or is it just a huge failure? So that you can choose wisely, here are the Grail GeoPress pros and cons. Oh, and be sure to stick around to the end where I see if Grail will filter out Coca-Cola. Okay, I'm gonna start with the cons, and just a short disclaimer. Since this is a backpacking channel, I'm going to be looking at Grail primarily from a backpacking standpoint. And with that in mind, the first and biggest con on my list is how heavy and bulky Grail is. By itself, without any water in it, Grail weighs in at one pound and five ounces, which is really heavy. If it's not the heaviest filter on the market, it's got to be close. And this is from someone who prefers a heavier pump filter over lightweight squeeze filters. But probably even worse than the weight is the bulk. There are not very many things in my loadout that are as bulky as Grail is, which wouldn't be a problem if Grail would carry all the water that I needed to for a trip but Grail's water capacity is limited to 21 ounces. That's not even a liter of water, which means that if you wanna carry a typical day's worth of water, you're going to have to carry Grail and several other bottles to get a full day's worth of water. Not only that, but Grail's limited capacity will require you to filter multiple times in order to get all the water that you are likely going to need. Now, to be fair, Grail does make a smaller quote-unquote ultralight filter that weighs in at 11 ounces, which is a whole lot better, but is still heavier than most backpacking filters, and that filter will only filter 16 ounces of water at a time. Another thing I noticed is the rubber bottom on the bottle makes it very difficult to pull Grail in and out of a backpack because the rubber has a tendency to cling to the nylon. Now, I'm sure that this rubber bottom is helpful when you're trying to set Grail down on a table or something where you don't want it to slide away, but in the backcountry, well, it's just a nuisance. Right off the bat, from a weight and bulk aspect, Grail, well, it isn't looking good. Difficult to use. So the idea behind Grail is simple. Fill the water reservoir and press. But in reality, it takes quite a bit of force to press the filter down. Most times I had to use my body weight to assist me in filtering water, which is fine if you're filtering on the ground. But if you're using Grail more as like a traveling filter, I think it might be a little awkward to put your bottle on the ground every time that you needed to filter. Something else I noticed is if Grail gets misaligned while you're pressing it, it has a tendency to shoot water up past the gasket. So be careful not to spray yourself in the face. And last on this note, make sure that you open Grail before pressing to allow air to escape or you're not gonna be able to press it down. Particulates. Grail is a very powerful filter. I'll talk about that more in a minute. But this works for and against Grail because if your water is too dirty with heavy particulates, Grail simply can't filter it you won't be able to press the filter down at all. Now, hopefully if you strain the water first, maybe you can still get water to pass through the filter. And I know a lot of filters will get clogged with heavily turbid water, so this isn't just a Grail thing. But that brings me to another con. If Grail gets clogged, there's no way to back flush the filter. So if you're backpacking or even traveling relying on Grail and it gets clogged, there's no way to surface it in the field. Lifespan. Out of all the filters I'm familiar with, Grail has the shortest lifespan. It's 65 gallons before you have to change the filter cartridge. Compare that to the Katadyne Hiker that'll do almost 200 gallons, the Platypus Quick Draw that'll do 1,000 gallons, or the Sawyer Squeeze that claims that you'll never have to replace it. And suddenly, 65 gallons seems like a drop in the bucket. 
Oh, and a replacement cartridge will run you $30. And that brings me to price. Grail is somewhat expensive at almost $90 for the GeoPress and $70 for the ultralight version, which is not a cheap filter. Now to be fair, other filters that can filter out all the things that Grail can will cost you quite a bit more. So depending on how you look at Grail, it's either expensive compared to most backpacking filters or it's cheap compared to filters that perform as well as Grail does. And that brings me to the pros. Okay, so I know that was a lot of cons and it might have you wondering, why would anyone buy this thing? Well, the main benefit to Grail is the fact that it will filter just about everything. Grail filters at bacteria and protozoa, which is where most filters stop. But Grail keeps going, filtering out chemicals, heavy metals, it improves taste, and it even filters out viruses, which is almost unheard of in a water filter. Now, in most cases, this is going to be completely unnecessary in the backcountry, where your biggest threats are parasites like Giardia. But if you're traveling through developing parts of the world where viruses, chemicals, and other waterborne threats are more common, well, then Grail would be my filter of choice. I've actually become sick before drinking the water at my five-star hotel in Honduras, and if I had Grail, well, I would have been okay. Which, the more I think about it, the more I think Grail is meant for traveling more than backpacking. And so if you're someone who spends a lot of time overseas in developing countries with the occasional backcountry experience, well, Grail is a really smart purchase. Okay, I know there are at least a few people watching this video that think Grail is amazing. And I'd like to hear your reasons why. So drop me a comment and let me know why I'm wrong. Or check out some of the other comments to find out why Grail might not be as bad as I say it is. Okay, now before I go, one of the things I wanted to do is I want to see if Grail will do something that I saw it do on another video online. And that is filter out Coca-Cola. Okay, will it filter out Coke? If this filter can do this, I'm going to be really impressed. Pretty hard to press. All right, I'm seeing some stuff coming through. It's not looking good. It still looks like Coca Cola. Looks just like Coca Cola. Which means that other video that I saw on the internet is a complete lie. Okay, so there you have it, Grails, Pros, and Cons. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, please make sure you like it below and that you leave me a comment to let me know what you think. It takes a lot of time and effort to make a video like this and it's little interactions like those that keep me motivated to make more. Please make sure that you subscribe and that you're following me on Instagram at My Life Outdoors. I'd like to connect with you there as well. And as always, thanks for watching.